There's new information tonight concerning the investigation into the murder of three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott, who was shot and killed when she was caught in the middle of a gun battle two weeks ago. Police tell 11 News that a person of interest in custody may end up being charged in the case. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer joins us live from Baltimore City Police Headquarters with more. Lowell. Yeah, Donna, Police Commissioner Anthony Batts tells us that this person who, turns him, who turned himself into police back on August 7th continues to be questioned and that they are building a case around him. The uh, uh, commissioner has alluded, though, that information has been passed to the state's attorney's office and they're kind of waiting to see if he's going to be charged. It was back on August 1st, a gun battle erupted here in the 3600 block of Old York Road in North Baltimore, and caught in the crossfire was three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott. The crime sparked outrage and sorrow around the entire city. A week after the crime, Baltimore's police commissioner pledged this. What we will do as this police organization is I've told them that the person responsible, we will bring them to justice before the end of this week. We will track them down and bring them to justice before the end of this week. Well, it has now been 12 days since that statement, and still no one has been charged in her murder. Changes have been made within the rank and file in the city's homicide unit, coincidence or not, but again, no charges have been filed. We did make an arrest on that. We have the person in custody, and what we have to do is fill in the blanks. We caught up with Commissioner Batts Wednesday, who tells us an arrest has been made of a man who turned himself in shortly after the shooting. The person of interest, as they're calling him, is being held on an open warrant, but Batts alluded that he could end up being charged for some role in the crime. The state's attorney has not filed charges on him at this point in time. Part of what we're doing, and we continue to do, is build a very strong case around him. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake also said that more than one person could be charged. It, um, you know, remains under investigation. We still have the person of the the persons of interest, and we we push to um, bring those individuals uh, to justice. But the timing of when the charges will come down is still up in the air, and appears to be in the hands of the state's attorney's office. This is the person of interest, and that's how we legally have to say it. He is a person of interest at this point in time. Until he's officially charged by the state's attorney's office, he remains a person of interest. And the commissioner also says that this is still very much an active investigation. Anyone with information should call Baltimore City Police. We're live outside of Baltimore City Police Headquarters downtown. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.